Who's up for dying some wooden dollhouse shingles? Welcome to The Sewing Report. I'm Jennifer Moore, helping you discover your love of sewing crafts and DIY projects. If you haven't heard, I'm building a dollhouse. Welcome to part five, I think. If you haven't seen parts one and four, I will link the playlist below. I'm also going to be sharing all of the supplies I'm using. So if you are building a dollhouse of your own, if you want to torch yourself, give this a shot. Got my shingle die right here. I'm doing gray. This was $8.99 at Hobby Lobby. Of course, I used the 40% off coupon. I've also got some gloves. Uh, the shingles that came with my real good toys. Beachside Bungalow Kit. This is, by the way, the first video where I think I've gotten the name of the kit right. I keep saying Beach House Bungalow. It's Beachside Bungalow. Apparently, this is 1,000 wooden dollhouse shingles. I've got some craft knives. These are by Arteza. Great. That we're going to be used to cutting this jug into doing our shingle dyeing system here. And I've also got a plastic bag. So we're ready roll. Either that or I'm ready to be a serial killer because some of the stuff looks like it's from the show Dexter. Now we're ready to actually apply the shingles and I wanted to share a couple things I've learned with you. These shingles are fairly thin. Check out this. And I tried three different glues. I tried Gorilla Glue and I tried Aline's Tacky Glue. But I have to say the only glue that really worked well for me is Quick Grip. I've also heard some good things about high temp hot glue guns, but I don't usually like working with hot glue guns, so I would highly recommend the Quick Grip. I experienced some warping and curling of the shingles because they're so thin with these other two types of glue. So while I would recommend the Aline's Tacky Glue for the house assembly, Quick Grip all the way for the shingles. You're also going to need to cut the shingles sometimes to make them fit on a row or at an angle for say the roof line at the dormer window. So I found two things that actually worked pretty well. Uh, the first being these super scissors. This worked both for cutting straight lines and angled lines. You can also use, weirdly enough, a rotary cutter and a creative grids ruler. This is an old blade and I'm not going to be cutting fabric after that. So be sure to use a blade that you don't really care about. But this actually worked pretty effective, both of these things. So if you are looking to cut shingles, and you're using the real good toys version, don't worry, you don't need like a hacksaw or anything. These super scissors are pretty heavy duty and they worked and the rotary cutter and the ruler worked just as well. So it is your choice. I've already got these little starter rows. The directions tell you to cut about 3 8 inch pieces. I just split these into thirds and start each of the bottom of the rows just so that when you apply your shingles over top of it, they will actually look even with the rest of your rows. So I've done this with all of them already and I've got some sections started. So let's get shingling.
hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And if you want to follow along on this dollhouse journey I'm on, I don't know if it's a, it's like a roller coaster basically, be sure to subscribe to the sewing report and hit the notification bell and you will see all of my videos, you know, in, in real time. So I will see you guys next time for another one. I'm Jennifer Moore with the sewing report. Have a great day.